your grill from Harris Ace and get two free bags of pellets of your flavor. Also, a Craftsman 6-gallon wet dry vacuum is on sale for only $29.99 with your Ace Reward card. And thank you, Wayne County, for voting Harris Ace your favorite hardware and building materials dealer. From a doghouse to your dream house, Harris Ace is here to help you. Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. Time now for a look at in local sports and sports. There was another packed house Monday evening at the Wake Cross City Auditorium for the 8th Annual In the Game Sports Magazine Southeast Area High School Football Awards Banquet. Guest speaker Donovan Darius, 10-year veteran of the NFL from the Jacksonville Jaguars on hand. 19 head coaches on hand with their offensive and defensive players of the year awards and then several individual awards presented. And Wayne County High School takes home two of the biggest awards presented Monday night at the banquet. First is the area's offensive player of the year award. And here was the announcement Monday night at the banquet. There were quarterbacks who led the way with their running ability and some who lit it up for the year. We had speedy running backs who could get around the end and even a mad dog who made his living up the middle. We had one of the best cores of receivers we've ever seen and soon some of whom will be playing in Division I college ball next year. Eventually it came down to the player who had the biggest impact on his team while overcoming unsurmountable odds. Our recipient led his team to a region championship and playoff throwing for 1,641 yards and 22 touchdowns in just seven games. With him in the lineup, his team was unstoppable. He played two games with a broken leg and ended his season with a broken knuckle he received while throwing a pass and hitting up an opponent's helmet in the first round of the playoffs. Had he stayed healthy, there's no telling how how far he and his team could have gone. Still, they went further than anyone expected, and this young man was their leader. It's our honor to present the Prime South Bank Offensive Player of the Year to quarterback from the Wayne County Yellow Jackets, Garrett O'Brien. And after the bank, we had a chance to talk with Garrett about the honor. Here, Garrett O'Brien, named Offensive Player of the Year by the Game Magazine. How does that make you feel? Uh, just blessed and honored. Thank you for the privilege to do it. Were you surprised? I was. I was very surprised. I had no idea it was coming. 19 schools being recognized and you get to win Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, says a lot about the year you had. And uh, I talked about all the adversity you had to overcome with the broken leg, the broken hand. But uh, take away this honor tonight. Uh, again. Wayne County proud about that. Yes, sir. I hate to see it end, but uh, looking back on the memories, forget, remember them for the rest of your life. You look down, you're still wearing that cast on your hand. When do you get that off? Um, hopefully within the next few weeks. We'll see. How tough was it sitting back watching the playoff game? And being here to play? It was the hardest thing ever, but it taught me a lot of lessons about patience and waiting for your time. So just glad to see uh, the team overcome that, and we still had a great year. Well, congratulations on the honor. Thank you. Thank you. And once again, those comments of Garrett Overhold again in the game magazine's Offensive Player of the Year, also recognized each year as the area's Coach of the Year. Here was that announcement Monday night at the banquet. Coach of the Year. The decision on Coach of the Year was one of the most difficult in years. New coaches came into Southeast Georgia and made an immediate impact while veteran coaches continued to build on past success. Of the 19 teams in Southeast Georgia, 11 made the playoffs this year and represented the area well. Our recipient may have been the surprise of the year. He has been coaching for 30 years, but was still a newcomer to Southeast Georgia. Crossing the state line from South Carolina, he took over a program that had fallen on hard times the past few seasons and managed to turn things around. He calmed the turmoil and put together a team that was able to play anyone on Friday nights. Nobody believed it was possible until his team beat the legendary Valdosta High School at Baysmore Outer Stadium. He then went on to lead them to a region championship in his first year at the helm. He has gone farther faster than anyone could have expected. And he has once again brought joy to Jessup. The Robbie Robertson Ford Coach of the Year for 2017 is Wayne County's Ken Crib. And after the bank, we had a chance to talk with head coach Ken Crib. 
Coach Ken Cribb, Coach of the Year, ran the game magazine first year at Lincoln High School. That's quite an honor. 19 schools represented by the magazine. Uh, some people take away the honor. Uh, it feels great. It's, it's a great o- award for Wayne County and for our, for our program, my kids. Uh, proud of our players, you know, and our coaches. You know, this is a this is a team award by far. You know, it takes the whole team, all paddling in the same direction. So, super proud. It was a great night for Wayne County. Uh, Gary takes on the offensive player of the year as well. Uh, you know, with 19 schools represented, uh, you know, how surprised were you that both those awards went to Wayne County? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pretty big honor. Uh, proud of, you know, uh, of the honor and it just represents how hard our kids work and our coaches work. And, uh, I think that's the main thing. We uh, love what we do and we work real hard at it. So, uh, you know, it just it goes back to, you know, our, our character ed, molding men, you know, just doing what we love and do, doing the best we can do it. Congratulations. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate you. Once again, those comments, Coach Ken Cribb, again, named in the game magazine's Coach of the Year. Other awards handed out Monday, the Middle School Player of the Year went to Jamie Felix from Camden County. The Academic Player of the Year went to Glen Academy's linebacker Hunter Hall. Defense Player of the Year went to Ware County's Ernest Jones, who's committed to play next year at South Carolina. MVP was Brunswick High School Jalen's Jack, Jalen Jackson. He's committed to play next year at the University of Cincinnati. Wayne County's Offensive and Defense Players of the Year were presented. Ashby Cribb on offense, Zach Fuller on defense. Long County's Offensive Defense Players of the Year recognized last night. They went to E.J. Crawford on offense and Makai Anderson on defense. Again, 19 schools on hand covered by the In the Game magazine. They are in alphabetical order. Appling County, Bacon County, Bradwell Institute, Brantley County, Brunswick High School, Camden County, Charlton County, Frederick Academy, Glen Academy, Jeff Davis, Liberty County, Long County, McIntosh County, Pierce County, Richmond Hill, Toombs County, Vidalia, Ware County, and Wayne County. Said it many times, it's a great magazine about high school and middle school athletes, and Wayne County's been treated well as several athletes have graced the cover over the years and many more featured in the magazine. And But last night, a milestone with two of the top honors at the banquet going to Wayne Countyans, Garrett Overholt, the Offensive Player of the Year, and Coach Ken Cribb, Southeast Coach of the Year. Our congratulations to both on the honors. NFL football Monday night, the Miami Dolphins defeat the New England Patriots 27-20. Patriots suffer only their third loss of the season. They play at Pittsburgh this Sunday afternoon for the number one overall seed in the AFC playoff picture. Jaguars currently in the number three slot with the game this Sunday at home at 1 p.m. against Houston Texans. Falcons in action this coming Monday night, taking on Tampa Bay in Tampa. Falcons currently in the sixth slot and in a wild card position trying to win the division by the end of the year. Georgia High School State Championships will be played this Friday as all but two canceled in Atlanta over the weekend due to the snow and bad weather. So high school sites this Friday. Here's the locations and times. 7A matchup between Colquitt and North Gwinnett will be played at North Gwinnett Friday at 7.30. 6A state final between Coffee and Lee County will be played at Lee County on Friday at 7.30. 5A state title between Rome and Warner Robins will be played at Warner Robins at 7.30 Friday. The 4A matchup between Blessed Trinity and Marist will be played at Marist. The double-A matchup between Hatefield Charter and Rabin County will be played at Rabin County Friday at 7.30 in the single-way public school matchup between Clinch County and Irwin County will be played Friday at 7.30 at Irwin County. Again, only two state finals played in Atlanta. The single-way private game as ALCA beat Athens Academy 41-3. And the triple-way final between Calhoun and Peach County. Calhoun wins at 14-6. In a controversial call at the end of the game, still a big discussion around the state. GHSA met with officials from Peach County on Monday, listened to their complaints, but in the end, the call will stand. Calhoun walks away with the state championship in AAA football for the year 2017. Peach County walks away with what if. Hard pill to swallow. Wayne County has no the feelings from Griffin when a touchdown was rolled a fumble and cost us that semifinal game and a chance to play for the state championship. It's the old saying, if it's sands and butts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a very Merry Christmas. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.